Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. I'm so honored to have you tuning in and joining us. We are excited to be exploring springing forward. We've been focused on that all February. How can we keep that forward momentum going that we start the beginning of the year with January? We're inspired. We're moving forward. We've got our goals. And somehow... When we get to mid to late February, it can start to look like last February. It can start to be very familiar and we can lose some of that momentum. And so what we've been talking about this month and we're continuing that conversation is how do we keep moving forward? How do we keep that energy going forward? How do we avoid some of the blocks that can come up and stop us along the way so that we can continue to spring forward in 2019 and beyond? I'm thrilled to have you joining us, and I have an amazing expert that's going to be pouring into us today, announcing a special book that's going to be coming out, so you'll want to listen for that, as well as pouring wisdom, insight, and support to help us continue that forward momentum. So we have a wonderful conversation lined up for you today, but I want you to be able to get the most out of our time together today. And it's so easy to multitask. It's easy to be here in body, but not in spirit, not listening, not fully present. And I know there is something powerful for you, and I'm hoping multiple powerful things for you today by the very nature that you tuned in. So let's make a commitment together today to be present, to stop, pause, breathe, and integrate Really give yourself the gift of this time to be poured into. We're so good at pouring into others. Let's take an opportunity to be poured into, to receive everything that is here for you today, because it is not an accident you tuned in. So those of you are driving, please stay safe, hands on the wheel, but inwardly tuning in, no texting and driving, but being present. Those of you are able to, I invite you to take a moment and put both feet on the floor, feel it supporting you, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing you all in, mind, body, soul, and spirit, all of you. Take a deep breath in through your nose, see how big you can make your belly, and out through your mouth, like through a straw, keep breathing. Eyes closed, you're absolutely safe. As you're breathing and bringing oxygen to every cell of your body, I want to just share a couple things as you're breathing, becoming centered, and connecting in. When we breathe like this, it helps bring us present. It lowers our cortisol levels, our stress levels, brings oxygen to every cell of our body so we're able to make better choices, (laughs) receive information, become present, and... A side bonus of this, or a, 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 not a side bonus, but a key part of what you receive is when we stop and pause and breathe, we're actually becoming present and it gives us an opportunity to be still, listen and process. We can get so busy, so caught up in action, we forget to be present. We add things to our to-do list and forget to do them, <laughs> forget to be them. And so today... As you're experiencing this breath, we're going to have moments throughout the show to have you become present and process what's being shared with you, what is being shared by our amazing guest, by myself, and what is being spoken into your heart and spirit, too, as we stop, pause, and listen. And what's beautiful about this, part of what helps you spring forward is actually giving yourself a moment to process and integrate before you go back out into the world then what's being spoken, what's being poured into you actually becomes part of you. And I want you to feel what that feels like. As you're breathing, imagining, pausing and breathing, actually supporting you to spring forward and go faster and be supported in that. Just feel what that feels like. Beautiful. 
And in this stillness, hearts open, ears ready to hear, minds ready to receive and support all that you are looking to bring forward. What is it you need? What is it that will support you, encourage you, empower you to spring forward? What is it that you need and are willing to receive because you have choice? What is it that you need and are willing to receive unattached to the how? Being open to actually being surprised at how that how can be met. So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? Beautiful. Collect that information. Come back into the room fully present. Eyes open. Take a breath. Beautiful. And take a moment just to write down what it is that was laid on your heart, what it is that you need and are willing to receive. Let's keep it top of mind. It's easy to get distracted, to move on to the next thing and actually miss that need being met because we're forgetting to look for it, to wait with eager anticipation to receive exactly what we need to move forward on those things that matter most. Let's breathe that in. Beautiful. Wonderful. And we're going to bring our amazing guest on here. And um, Martha, I would love for you to share briefly, when you took a moment to stop, pause, and breathe, what was laid on your heart? What is it that you want to take a moment and share with our listeners today? First of all, Rebecca, I love the process. Because when, in the course of an average day, do we get a chance to sit and reflect and see what hits our heart as opposed to what hits our head. So yes. thank you yes, for absolutely. that opportunity to do that. So here's what landed on my heart. Um, I'm preparing for two big events. One is our book launch. One is a retreat this weekend. And I'm all wrapped up in the details. And truth be told, what landed on my heart is what I want to share with everyone on this call that can change their business. Mm. And how I can be in service to their cause. Beautiful. And Thank that's you. what landed on my heart. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. And listeners, I want you to hear that and feel that and receive that. I could feel it energetically from you, this desire to support. And what a gift in the busyness of preparing for two launches, including an event this weekend, uh, to take time to pour into us. And I appreciate that. Thank you. My pleasure. You just did a great service to me. I wish you had been with me last night when I was crazed. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you. It would be a good exercise for me to bring with me. (laughs) (laughs) Beautiful. (laughs) Well, we'll have opportunities throughout the show. And listeners, you as well, you may have lots of things going on. And I'm so honored you're taking a moment to stop, pause, breathe, and receive and be. And as we go into our first commercial break, it's secretly in disguise, two minutes just for you. As those commercials play in the background, be present. Resist the urge to run off and cross things off the to-do list. Be present. See what's being spoken into your heart and to your spirit. And give yourself that gift of two minutes of breath supporting you and inspiring you and uplifting you. And with that, we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Be sure to friend us on Facebook. You can do it right now. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for us at keyword Voice America. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Get Unchained 
Tune in every Monday for Jane Unchained on the Voice America Influencers Channel, featuring nationally recognized best selling author, TV journalist, and social media influencer Jane Velez Mitchell. This program takes you inside a trending lifestyle that's the next wave of human evolution. It all starts on your plate. If you want to revolutionize your life, get happier, more energized, then discover the secret. Tune in to Jane Unchained Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective. Plus topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at blog.voiceamerica.com. That's blog.voiceamerica.com. The Voice America Press Blog. All access, all the time. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you gave yourself that time to be present. And we're going to build these muscles <laughs> throughout the day of being present or throughout our time together. And I hope you build them throughout the day of really being present, stopping, pausing and breathing. It just takes one to two minutes at a time and can so powerfully shift how we're being in our day. Now, in our opening segment, you got to hear from a heart level, um, our amazing guest, as she shared what was laid on her heart. And I wanted to share a little bit more about her um, as we get into a beautiful conversation to really support us and springing forward, particularly in our businesses. So Martha Hanlon is a co-owner and leader of Wide Awake Business. And Wide Awake Business has a track record of success. To date, as of the last set of numbers I was given, um, helping 4,891 customers to create $534 million in new revenue. So powerful track record of success, helping small businesses. And she and her company are passionately supportive of helping small business owners create a simpler more profitable business while having fun and creating more time for themselves. So let's lean in and warmly welcome the amazing, powerful, and heart-centered Martha Hamlin to the show. Welcome! Ta-da! Thank Ta-da. you, Becca. <laughs> it's a pleasure, pleasure to be here and to be with all your listeners. What a great thing to be doing on a Thursday. <laughs> thrilled to have you here today and we're excited to hear all that you have to share with us today Um, so thank you for being here today and bringing your energy and your heart and your powerful um, tools to support us on our journey but before we get into that I'd love for you to share a little bit about why this work of helping small business owners in this way why is that work personally so important to you oh wow so probably like many of your listeners my background comes out of corporate America. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked for all those big companies. I worked for all of them that uh, had lots of customers and somehow or other lost their heart and soul in the process and everything really revolved around the balance sheet. And I was in Silicon Valley at the time where 
uh, I was approached to do some work. Once I went out on my own, I left corporate America oh, a handful, let's just say a handful of years ago. We don't have to put a time frame on it. <laughs> and I was good. out as a consultant. And I just kept being approached by companies to work on another black box. And my black box is better than your black box. And what I found in small businesses when I started just flirting with some work with small businesses is they haven't lost their heart. They haven't lost their soul. They haven't lost their love of the client. And it was just so much more interesting and compelling and more in line with who at that point in my life I had become and who I am today. Mm. So I love small business owners. We can look at them and say they're the heart and soul of the economy. Mm -hmm. They're where the real growth comes from. But truth be told, why am I attracted to them? Because they haven't lost their heart. They haven't lost their soul. They haven't um, auctioned themselves off to the financial devil completely because they still love their customers. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I love that you're stepping, you stepped into and are supporting that space so powerfully because um, heart, and I'm curious, actually, do you find that these small businesses that have that heart, that have that soul, that care so much for their customers, um, that they sometimes need support on that balance sheet side of things and you're able to really help them make that shift and keep the heart and soul? Completely. You know, the, the heart and soul is wonderful, but as mm-hmm. Oprah Winfrey says, you know, if, you, if you're not able to bring money in, you can't go help anybody. If mm-hmm. you don't have income for yourself, I mean, she went out and created a school in, in uh, Africa because she had the money to do that. So she took care of Oprah first. Now she gets a chance to take care of others. So as much as heart and soul is so wonderful and small business owner one of the things actually and you've touched Mm -hmm. on it one of the things i find that many small business owners are not in touch with in a very critical and important way is their numbers their profit and loss statements their margins their bottom line their cash flow and as you know boring and as analytical as that sounds rebecca those things are what enable you to have heart and soul because you're not stressed about where's my next dollar coming from. Oh, my heavens, I have so much work, I can't possibly see the forest for the trees. I couldn't possibly bring anybody on to work for me because how could I pay them because I can't pay myself. So the numbers really enable the heart and the soul. Thank you for sharing that because I think there is a myth that needs to be busted out there that somehow Mm -hmm. we can't care about the dollars if we care about people or we care about the change we're making in the world that somehow they're mutually exclusive. And what I hear you saying is they actually weave together powerfully and enable you to do more. Is that you can't make the change in the world Mm -hmm. unless you are comfortable and secure. You cannot do it. It's you know, I'll give you a different analogy. Uh, I'm going to be on an airplane tomorrow, and hopefully this mm-hmm. doesn't happen. But if the air masks fall down, what are their instructions? Their instructions are, I put mine on first, and then I assist the person next to you. And the same thing is true in your business. Yes. You don't lose your heart and your soul because you know your numbers. You don't lose your heart and your soul and your passion and your desire to serve others, especially all those women who are listening to you. We actually enable it when we know our numbers. It's one of those things that makes our business better and smarter and stronger and enables us to feel yes. centered and confident and not like um, nervous because how are we going to pay the mortgage this month? Yes. Thank you for sharing that and giving that example because we can get confused <laughs> about that. Oh, so absolutely. I, absolutely. I appreciate it. And we have a caller on the line and it uh, looks like our team wasn't able to capture the name, but um, caller, I'd love to welcome you aboard. Glad to have you here today. This is Dr. Cheryl Lentz. How are you? Oh, hello, Dr. Cheryl Lentz. Glad to have you here hello. today. How are you? <laughs> Good. I have a question for both of you. When we get into the heart space, men in particular sometimes will think we're being too touchy-feely and we tend to be a little bit maybe less professional than their expectations. How do you account for that to keep that in that heart space and still serve them? 
Beautiful question. Thank you, Dr. Cheryl. And Martha, do you want to start and share your thoughts on that? Absolutely. So this is a perfect example, Dr. Cheryl, of uh, men are from Mars and women are from Venus. This is a, the perfect example. We women have a tendency to be, and I think to an extreme, a little too overboard that we get wrapped up in our heart and our passion and wanting to do good and forgetting that we have to charge for it. And men, on the other hand, sometimes think that that can be a sign of weakness or they haven't been educated, programmed, trained, nurtured, any word you want to use, into how to live in that heart space. I remember a couple of weeks ago working with a client, and I asked him how he felt about it, and he told me how he thought about it. Mm -hmm. And so one of the activities that we gave him to go away and do was to not think about the question, but to feel about the question. And it took him a while uh, because... No one's asked because no one's trained because no one's made it acceptable. And yes. gentlemen who are listening, it is completely acceptable to be in touch with your heart because that's where your customers are coming from, not their wallet. Beautiful. Thank you. Wonderful information and, and support. And uh, Dr. Cheryl, did that answer your question? It did. Thank you. It helps us try to balance both of them. So I appreciate your time very much. Great. Thank you so much for calling in. (laughs) Thanks. Um, And I was just thinking we had our conference last week, our Women's Empowerment Conference, and we've been finding more and more men are coming and attending. And I feel like there's actually a hunger for um, men to get connected, to be able to be part of that conversation and to hear from the heart. So I loved what you said, Martha, about your customers coming from the heart. So it's very important that we also um, connect in that way and are able to think that way as well as take the action. <laughs> you can't do one or other. Oh, absolutely. Exclusive. I think we have all have a tendency to think mm-hmm. that customers are are looking for service. They're driven by the price. And the truth of the matter, if I can get just practical for a minute, yes. is price yes. is really only about 5% of any decision-making process. What enables someone to make a decision to say yes to you or no to you is Five percent of it's the price. The other ninety-five percent of it is, I have an issue. I have a problem. Can you mm-hmm. can you take the problem away? And that is mostly emotional. Mm. Thank you. Can, and so mm-hmm. it's so important that we tap into that. And we're able to connect into that space. Now I know one of the things you're launching is Customer Topia, and I wondered if you could share a little bit about that with us today. Oh, I'd be happy to. Customer Topia is our next book. It's our second book coming out uh, in the May time frame. And rather than just sort of tell you, if I can take a minute, I thought I'd drop your listeners into the experience, what Customer Topia feels like when you're sitting in the middle of it. Oh, I love it, it. Feels yes. Like, yeah, so it feels like, imagine this, it feels like your business is bursting with all the customers that you want, and they come way more easily than they did in the past. You get a chance to choose who you want to work with, not just everybody who you know stops by and can fog a mirror, as they say, and you love working with them, and they love working with you, and they pay you, because you ask them to, and they pay you on time, and your business isn't overwhelming you because you've got team. You're not stressed out. All roads don't lead to you, at least not most of the time. You've got a plan for your business, which is what you were talking about at the beginning. Here we are in February. How are we doing on the plan? You're leading your customers. You're engaged in your business at the highest level, at the very highest level, and you're making a difference. You're hitting all of your goals, your customers, can't get enough of your services because you're enabling them to get rid of the problem that they had when they came to you. And you feel successful. You feel successful on your terms. And life feels, I don't know, pretty darn good. That, to me, is what Customertopia is. It is a state of being that comes about because of how we operate our business. How we, and that starts with, Rebecca, how we work and think and focus towards customers. 
and and even be in it. I, I just, so powerful. I'm going to give our listeners a moment to just breathe and feel what that feels like just for a moment. And do you mind reading just a couple of those phrases again that you shared as we're being and feeling? I'll do my best. <laughs> so, I guess, like, what did I say? So imagine mm-hmm. that you have all the customers that you want. Yes. And you love working with them. And you get to choose the customers that you work with. And you have so much business, you get a chance to go out and you can bring team in so that you're not doing everything. All roads don't lead to you. There's never been a successful business person who's done it all by themselves. And you won't either. You're going to elevate to your highest value in your business. Yes. And you're going to do that by being customer-centered, putting your customer in the center of everything that you do, and you say they become your North Star. And life starts to feel pretty darn good, and you get a chance to relax and not feel overwhelmed and stressed about where the next dollar is coming from or, oh, my goodness, how can I do one more thing? Beautiful. Listener, thank you for for sharing and emphasizing those things again as we're taking a moment to feel it because I felt like we heard it, but I wanted us to feel it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Just just for a moment. Uh, we're getting ready to go into our next commercial break, our next minute, two minutes, just for you listeners. So take a moment and spend it in Customertopia. And when we come back, we're going to continue the conversation and let you know a little bit more how you could add this valuable book and resource to your library. We look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Think you've seen everything there is to see in online television? Let us surprise you. Visit voiceamerica.tv today for sports, health, business, and more on demand 24-7. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Sustainable success is just around the corner. If you are an entrepreneur, business leader, or anybody looking for their next level of success, tune into Sustainable Success with host Chris Salem. Did you know that the path to success is a long path that started many years ago? The path you started on then determines what is happening now. Chris and his amazing guests in their field will help you navigate the path to sustainable success every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Time and 9 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America in Influencers Channel. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and that you spent them in Customertopia, that you were experiencing what that felt like 
imagining that all of that could be how you are living your life, how you are living your business, fully supported, in flow, bringing forward your gifts, your talents, and all that you're wanting to bring to the world. And you have the financial support and the team to do it. That's some of what we're talking about today, and that's what Customertopia is all about. So, Martha, I would love for you to share a little bit more about Customertopia and when it's launching, what they can look forward to. I know we're launching it as a ebook, a Kindle book first, um, and that that's coming up in May. I'd love for you to give us some details. Absolutely. So, here's what's going on with Customertopia, and, and there, you've made a great special offer to all your listeners. So. Everyone should thank you for this, I I hope. On May 8th, we are launching the digital version of Customertopia. And Customertopia, while I describe the experience of it, obviously we're all not going to arrive at Customertopia just because we feel it and say it. There's some steps that need to occur to get there. And just as your topic is about spring forward, Customertopia is spring forward. And we spring forward I know that we don't always think this way, and it doesn't always feel this way. We look at our year and go, oh, I want to make $120,000. How do I make $120,000? As opposed to saying, today it's just $333. If I do $333 every day for the rest of the year, I've made $120,000. It's lots of small steps, and that's what the book Customertopia shares how, whether you've been in business for 10 minutes or 10 years, you can create a customer-topia for yourself by following certain steps, putting your customer in the center of what you do. So if everyone writes this down, this would be perfect for them because this is a great offer mm-hmm. that you've made. May 8th, the digital version of Customer-topia comes out. And for uh, 24, 48 hours, sometime in that time frame, there's a special price, a special offer on the digital version of the book, which is a crazy price of, I think it's a dollar? Mm-hmm. A dollar. So everyone who's listening, you can get the whole entire book in digital form on May 8th and 9th for one dollar. So I would encourage you to put those dates and on your calendar, put a little reminder in your calendar that you might use on your computer And on May 8th, May 9th, go into Amazon and get the digital version of Customertopia for one whole American dollar. (laughs) (laughs) Woohoo! No, woohoo! And they can even use quarters if they want, or pennies. It doesn't matter as long as it's a dollar. Small steps count. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Listeners, what an amazing opportunity. So please mark May 8th on your calendar just to make sure you don't miss it. I know we're going to do postings and share it out on social media. Those of you who are following us that way, um, you'll be able to buy it on Amazon. And one of the questions we get frequently around digital format digital books is it says Kindle when you go on Amazon. You actually don't have to have a Kindle book to be able to purchase it. They'll automatically give you the ability to read it on whatever device it is that you're using to read. As long as you have a computer, it can be a laptop, iPad, whatever it may be that you're using to connect into the internet, um, you're able to read the book on that device of your choice. Um, So please mark that date on your calendar. What an amazing opportunity to add this valuable resource and get the steps, the step-by-step way to step into customer topia for one u.s dollar oh martha thank you for making that available to our listeners oh my pleasure my pleasure i hope everyone and and, you know frankly your listeners should tell their friends too first they should tell their friends to come and listen because i'm sure you have other wonderful opportunities (laughs) and deals for them but they should tell their friends because their friends can get it for a dollar also on may 8th and may 9th Exactly. Let's not keep this a secret. <laughs> we can share it. <laughs> no <out>. reason. <laughs> no reason. There's, there's nothing about, there's not a limit to the amount of customer topias that are created. We all can have one. I we love it. We all have a customer topia for our own business. Beautiful. 
<laughs> Thank you for, for reminding all of us that all of us, sometimes we forget we can share things out. And so it's important to. Exactly. And it's bountiful. Yeah. You know, sometimes I think we also think that if I have one, that means somebody else can't have one. And the truth of the matter is we can all have one. Exactly. We can all have one. We can all benefit by it and we can share it out and really right. bring customer utopia to the world. What a beautiful way to bring each other forward and to bring businesses forward. And whether you have your own business or not, think about a business approaching you, remembering to keep you in the center. What a beautiful way to be served and supported. And when a individual is fully supported they're in their customer utopia they're in that beautiful space they're more present they're more joyful they ha- they enjoy what they're doing they're peaceful focused and relaxed which means they can serve at a higher level because that business is supporting them and they're able to support their customers uh, so let's spread the word share it out into the world what a beautiful way to spring forward and bring the feeling and the experience of customer topia to the world because it does take those steps that we each need to take step by step and now absolutely I, and, and i just wanted to come back and un- emphasize sure. one thing because i know that we all most of us can get a little choked up on some of this Spring forward is small steps. It's a baby step. It's a baby step. It's a baby step. And then after a handful of baby steps, turn around and look at where you were. You're going to be stunned at how far you've come. I know that in my businesses, and I know that in some of my friends' businesses, my colleagues' businesses, we get like (gasps) about the fact that we have to get there overnight and the yes. trip doesn't take overnight. It takes lots of, it's not, it, you didn't say gi- uh, propel forward, Rebecca. You didn't say cannonball forward. You said spring forward. It's lots of little baby steps. Beautiful. Thank you for reminding us because there is that myth out there that only those big steps, big sweeping changes count. And it's just not true. It's, it's not the, true. The baby steps count. The baby steps get us there, step by step, being consistent. And I like that reminder to look back. We forget to look back and see our progress. We keep looking forward at how far or how much more we need to do. And we forget to celebrate what we've done and to appreciate that. Do you have a tip or a way that we can remember to do that or build that into how we're doing and growing and springing forward? Well, and you used a word that's important, and that's celebrate. Because mm-hmm. that's the other thing that we have a tendency, we, the collective, we have a tendency to forget to do. In this rush to get to the goal, when you turn around and look and you see your progress, mark it with the celebration. Pat yourself on the back. Take yourself out to dinner. Do your happy dance down the hallway. It's <laughs> not just like, oh, well, look what I did. Don't just say it. Mark it with something physical. Mark it with your happy dance. Mark it by like, singing in front of your family and having them stare at you and say, what is she doing? Do it by taking yourself out to dinner or opening that great bottle of wine you've been saving for a special occasion. Mark the celebration. Mark your progress because it's, we have to reward ourselves. Mm-hmm. If we don't reward ourselves for the good work that we're doing, then we have days when we go, you know, what if... Why am I doing this? Yeah. Well, and I think that's so important. We're making it a celebration. Make it special. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. And I hear you invite others to be part of that as well. And I think that's a beautiful role model for them. And it makes it more fun. And I think more real when we have people come alongside us and celebrate with us as well. And it can be giving someone a call on the phone. One of the reasons I love to grandly introduce our guests is I think our guests should be celebrated. I think it's an amazing gift that they're coming in and pouring our their wisdom and advice and into us and making amazing opportunities available. What if we did that for ourselves, introduced ourselves that way and and it celebrated each of those steps in that grand manner and really took it in. And I like that, bring it in a physical way. When I introduced you, Martha, my hands were raised. I've been asked that question. <laughs> oh, wow. They were. It's I, really I, I saw a couple of weeks ago, this, uh, this 
event that just has hit me, and I think it's important mm-hmm. for us to think about in terms of our business. I live in a little beach town. We've got these big towers left over from World War II that looked out on the water to make sure the enemy wasn't coming up the bay, and you can go into them. And I was going up on my bike, and this young kid came storming down, I mean, like seven, eight years old, came storming down out of the tower, yelling and waving his hands. He's like, this is the best day of my life. Oh. And his mother's <laughs> coming around behind him, and she said, he just loves these towers. Uh-huh. And I looked at him, and I thought, when was the last time we all went running down the street waving her arms, saying, this was the best day of my life. Mm. And yet we've chosen to be in business for ourselves because it's one of the best things we think we can do for ourselves. Mm. So part of that celebration, you know, they say dance like no one's watching. Well, be imitate my eight-year-old friend. This is the best day of my life. Mm. Breathe it in, celebrate it. I love it. What a beautiful visual. I could see that. <laughs> oh, he was so much fun. That smile, his face wasn't big enough to contain a smile. Oh, I, and it made you smile like it was contagious. It did. We were <laughs> laughing. He was so much fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And, and he reminded us as adults, there are four of us sitting there. He reminded mm-hmm. all four of us, like, when was the last time we said that? Mm. <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Um, Yeah, just think about the energy because each of us can identify a seven or eight year old that has touched us (laughs) one way or another. And what a beautiful reminder of bringing that energy and celebrating in that way. And it's contagious in a beautiful, great way. And we can bring that into the daily life of our business. And into our personal lives. Oh, so beautiful. Well, I'd love for you to share, are there things that happen that stop us? As we've been talking about springing forward, are there some blocks you see that come up that get in the way of those steps that we've been talking about taking? There are, there's two in particular, I think, that I would point out. One mm-hmm. is central to Customertopia, and that is we've birthed our businesses from our perspective, from our point of view. As small business owners, we started our business because we were a great chiropractor or we were a good accountant or we're a wonderful masseuse or we're perfect at, at cooking food for people. We have a great catering business. We started from ourselves. And we work out to our customers. And we have a tendency to think that the things that our customers want to know are they want to know all about our products and services and they want to know about us. And we have a tendency to think that what's important to us is what's important to them. Mm. And that is the first thing that gets in the way of our business because our customers don't care about your products and they don't care about you yet. They care Mm. about themselves. They care about the problem that they have They don't care about your solution. They care that you can make the problem go away. That's Mm -hmm. the first thing that gets in the way of our business, and it's a big one because it shows up in how we write our copy on our website, what our brochures look like, what we say to someone when we introduce ourselves, and what is it, seven seconds to make our first impression? Mm -hmm. It's fast. When you... It's fast. So when we start by talking about ourselves or what we think is important to our customer, they don't hear us. It's not even like they hear us and they reject us. We are like the teachers in the Charlie Brown cartoons. It just sounds like wah, wah, wah. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. The second thing I would say to you, Rebecca, is that we get stuck in the I don't know how to. Mm-hmm. And then fill in the blank. I don't know how to do social media. I don't know how to find customers. I don't know how to whatever you want to say. As soon as we say how, we stop moving forward. So mm-hmm. I would encourage all of your listeners when they, when they get stuck in that how spot, instead to ask the question differently. Make it a what question. Make it a why question. What's mm-hmm. the issue? Why do I have the problem? What can I do about it? Not how. How causes us to stop. And when we stop, there's no forward motion. Yep. Oh, thank you. Really, really powerful. Changing that question every time that how pops up, because it does. (laughs) Uh, It does. It it does for all of us. 
Mm-hmm. And then remembering cool. it's around the need of the client, not what we do, but what their need is, what that problem is that we can uh, make better and to write our copy to connect with them in that way. Beautiful advice and important blocks to be aware of because we can get blindsided by them or stop by them to now be mm-hmm. aware of what you can do to spring through them, to spring over them powerfully. We are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do, use these two moments to kind of take a couple notes and really sink into this powerful information that's been shared with you to keep springing forward. We've talked about celebration. We've talked about changing some of the language of how we we are looking to connect. See, I said the how. <laughs> how we're looking to connect with our listeners. And are we letting the words how stop us? And with that, we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Follow us on Twitter at Voice America TRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's Voice America TRN. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. There's a new force to be reckoned with in talk radio. It's not just talk radio. Hosted by LaTanya Jr. and co-host Tina Wynn and Tony Brown. Not Just Talk Radio is like a superhero. Inspiring, problem-solving, and informing. Packed with action-provoking conversations from news, movements, and social and politics issues. This program is about a wide range of voices and fresh points of view from experts, celebrities, and you, the listener. Not Just Talk Talk Radio is broadcast live Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Become a member of VoiceAmerica.com. It's easy and best of all, it's free. Start out by going to our homepage or any of our channels and click register at the top. Once you've created an account and signed in, you can create your own custom library, opt into our newsletter, search by show, host, guest, or topic of interest, or browse millions of hours of content across all of our Voice America radio channels. Membership gets you more. Visit VoiceAmerica.com today to get started and tailor the listening experience to your taste. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you gave yourself an opportunity to stop, pause, breathe, and integrate, and took a couple notes. Uh, There was some great information, some great tips and tools to start helping you spring forward powerfully and effectively and with joy. I think we can have great joy in what we're doing and what we're bringing forward. And celebration is a great way to bring that into our lives, into our hearts, and into our spirits. With that, I wanted you all to know how to get in touch with Martha. I I have enjoyed our conversation, Martha. I appreciate all that you've shared with us today. And I'd love for people to know the best ways to connect in with you so they can get more. (laughs) 
Well, absolutely. So the simplest way is, what a surprise, email, and they can reach me at Martha, M-A-R-T-H-A, at WideAwakeBusiness.com. Martha, at WideAwakeBusiness.com. And if they'd like to get a little freebie right now and not wait just until the book comes out for a whole dollar in digital form on May 8th, they can scoot over to our website, which is, what a surprise, wideawakebusiness.com, and they'll see a little box there on the home page. And if they share their email address, then we will send them their first free step in how to reduce their to-do list. Because I don't know about what your to-do list looks like, but Mm -hmm. most people have too many things on it and we don't get to half of them. So I want to show you how you can get your to-do list down to five critical things. And you Ah. can do that by heading over to wideawakebusiness.com and you'll see a little blue box. Click the Get Instant Access, fill the information in and... I'll tell you how you can reduce your to-do list. Beautiful. So you even more. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Another free try. I see. You just dial in, it. listen to Rebecca. Lots of free things happen. And stay to the end of the show. <laughs> There's always more unfolding. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> right. Love it. Love right. it. Where all the good and, stuff happens. And a side bonus, a side benefit to that, not only are you getting some of that amazing information right away today, but you'll be on the list, you know, correct me if I'm not correct in this, Martha, but they'll get an email as a reminder the day of the launch with the links. Oh, completely. We'll, so, we'll send them a couple emails that it's coming because I know that yeah, the way that all of us busy. operate, you know, our email box gets full. So we'll send you a couple emails reminding you and on the day of, we said like, this is it. Let's go. Bring yep. your dollar. Bring your quarter. Ah. Off we go. So we're supporting you in that, too. So lean into that generous offer. Thank you for making that available to our listeners. And please mark May 8th on your calendar so you can lean in and get your own digital copy of Customertopia for one U.S. dollar. We want everyone that this can serve (laughs) to lean in and say yes and share it with your friends. One of the phrases I love if you are listening to those commercials and the rejoiners and some of the phrases that are used it talks about how we don't follow we lead influencers and I love that phrase and I think it's such a great reminder that all of us can step into that place of influence and we carry far more influence and impact than we realize every step matters how we choose to be in it matters When we know of great resources we can make available to others, it matters that we share it out. And one of the great resources that you have available in the world is you. You are an amazing gift. You are absolutely needed in this world for such a time as this. There's no one else just like you with your gifts, your hearts, your talents, moving in the direction you are called to move. So I want to invite you to do it on purpose and with great purpose because every step matters every step counts do the steps on purpose and with purpose making sure they're in a direction that you want to go (laughs) that that is where you are called to move they're not just steps but they're moving in a direction because wherever you go Whatever you do, it matters how you are in it and what you're leaning into and what you're bringing forward. My desire is that wherever you go, whatever you do, you choose to bloom where you're planted and shine out the gift of you. I look forward to talking to you next week. Everyone have an amazing rest of the week and we'll look forward to continuing to spring forward in March. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Influencers Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.